fishing for the rest of us. I'm your host Spencer, and uh, today we're answering the age-old question: What's colder than ice fishing? Ice fishing at night. I've got my good friend <laughs> Mike here. He's helped us out with a lot of the show up to this point. He's been behind the camera. You probably heard him a couple times, but I figure it's about time y'all meet him. Hey guys. <laughs> so today we're fishing a shallow, weedy bay. We're in about five feet of water. Uh, we're fishing for some crappie. We got here just around nightfall. Got our lines in the water, uh, got the hut set up because it is a storm out there. We're the only portable hut on the lake right now. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can hook into some nice slab crappies tonight. Right now we got some minnows down there, we got some glow in the dark jigs, some tubes. Uh, so we'll see what they want. Stay tuned, should be a fun night. Fish on. Nice. Nice little crappie. Mm -hmm. That's what we're after, just not quite the size. Nice start to the night. Absolutely. Oh, he wanted that minnow right in the top of his mouth. He's still got the minnow in there. We'll let him keep it. He earned his meal. There we go. Nice little Ontario crappie. Let's go catch your mama. You tell your friends about me, crappy. There he goes, down the hole. Nice. It's been snowing a lot since we set up in the hut. We're gonna leave and there's gonna be snow like up to it's here. It's snowing the in the hut. <laughs> it's coming in the air, man. Yeah, I know. It's got a snow guard too, that's the scary part. Not it for pulling the sled back. Not it. They're actually not crappy at all, they're awesome. Oh, you're still alive, look at you. Go catch a crappy. So all we're throwing today is I have my usual eight pound ice line. A lot of people like to downsize for panfish. I really don't find it necessary, especially with these micro thin lines they have nowadays. They're even thinner diameter than usual. Uh, especially at night, the panfish don't really see it. It's a clear line. Uh, we have a size 10 wide gap live bait hook, very small, so the crappie can just inhale it. We're using these nice pinhead minnows that we got from the tackle shop just on the, on the lake here. If you can see those guys. Just some nice little, oh there goes one. Just some nice little pinhead minnows. We're just lip hooking them right through the bottom of their jaw, out through the snout. It doesn't hurt them, they live forever like that. And again, we're just dropping that down. What you want to do is drop your line, open your bale, drop it all the way down. Careful your line's not tangled, ice line likes to curl in the cold. And just feel whether or not you can feel your split shot, we have two little split shots on there as well, sorry I forgot to mention that with the hook. And if you just keep slowly reeling up until you can feel the weight of that split shot, then you know you're on bottom. At that point, you can pull your line up, measure approximately how many feet you are from the bottom, and you just saved yourself 300 bucks on buying a sonar unit. So, oh, oh, take it. fish on. There we go. A little bigger. Right through the nose. There we go. You gotta be careful when you unhook these crappies. They got these weak little paper mouths, so you don't want to rip the hook out too hard. That's getting a little better. Hey, 
what I tell you guys. Nighttime crappy. That's been good to you so far. No, I'm happy. I didn't get it. <laughs> hey! My minnow just swam up! <laughs> Did you see he just swam up on the snow trying to get out of the hole? Either way, you're screwed, bud. You're either going to get eaten by a crappie or you're going to freeze to death. Take your pick. Oh. I'd go with freeze to death. It's kind of like going to sleep. Oh, oh, don't be tangled, don't be tangled. It wasn't tangled, it was just cold. That'll happen with ice line. Okay. Are you watching my line, Mike? Not really. You are a horrible co-angler. <laughs> Story time can wait. My rod tip was twitching. Actually, aren't you glad you, uh, remember when you were like, hey, let's just switch holes, I'll sit on that side. And I was like, I don't want to scoop out another hole. Now I've got two fish from my hole. Okay, no, we're good. Anyway. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do, right, buddy? Oh! He was nibbling while I was telling stories. He tangled my line, took my minnow. See how it's gonna be crappy. It's on. Hey Mike, you know what time it is? Crappy time. All oh, the wind's picking up. <laughs> it's gonna get cold in here. No, dude, <laughs> it's bad out there. Oh, the okay. way back's gonna stop. I just ventured outside visibility is poor to say the least. It yeah, is windy, it is snowing, and I've also realized that we are the only people still left out here in a portable hut. There's seven minnow. Here, fishy, Mike, fishy. if I'm missing my minnow and you weren't watching my line I yet. was watching. Alright, it's on there. You're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> the hell are you gonna do? I'll fire you. This is the best non-paying job you've ever had. What do you mean non-paying? Non-paying. I don't pay you. No, it's negative paying. How's it negative paying? I put money into this. You want to come fishing anyway. <laughs> so there's a camera pointed at you this time. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> I am in the middle of a hut standing. Oh, man. I chill you good. Thank you, Kathy and Terry. We love you. That's uh, seriously, that's really good chili, man. Oh, I know. <laughs> Here, give me the chili. Oh! Good luck, chili! Thank you, <laughs> Kathy and Terry. Oh, and he's off. Where do you go? Come here, little guy. He's the littlest one I've got tonight. Come here, don't go with my chili. <laughs> He's hungry. <laughs> Little guy. He's hungry. We're hungry. Good night. Let's let this guy go back. And gone. Nice. I gotta melt the uh, ice on the eyelets. When your eyelets freeze up, better to actually put your fingers over the ice and let it melt and break it off. If you break it off, you can chip the ceramic on the inside, which can fray your line. Could cost you a good fish. traumatized. <laughs> Having a crappy try to eat you'll do that, eh? Spencer, licensed fish psychologist.
So it seems they're higher up in the water column tonight. We're not quite fishing on the bottom. We're maybe a third to a half of the way up. We got about five feet of water, so we're about two and a half feet off bottom. And they seem to be feeding around there. I did. Oh, I still got the middle. Get it back down. If a fish gets away when you set the hook, don't think, oh, you know, the fish is going to swim away now. The fish isn't smart enough to know what's going on. The only thing they know is they just lost a minnow. So you drop that right back down there, they'll smash it again if they're still there. But this one's going to make a liar out of me. <laughs> Never hurts to put it right back down though, especially if you still got that bait. Get it back down as soon as you can and they just might come back for it. Oh, hang on, maybe I spoke too soon. Come on, he's there. Got him! Yes! Oh, that is a bluegill. That is not a crappie at all. Definitely time for a fresh minnow. Do you want to hear the crazy part? I think this is actually my first bluegill through the ice. I always catch perch and crappie. I usually only get these guys in open water. But they are a lot of fun to catch in the winter as well. Whoop. And he's just going to release himself. There you go, buddy. Other way. There you go. Nice. Mix it up a little. Mm -hmm. When you're fishing these crappie at night, a lot of the time the schools of them will just circle around the bay feeding. So you could have a period where you can't keep them off your line for five seconds and you'll have nothing for 45 minutes. Just wait, keep calm, no need to move yet. As long as you're in the right spot, and what you're looking for is a lake within a lake. A small, shallow, weedy bay that almost looks like its own little pond on a bigger lake. And as long as they're circling there and you're somewhere in that weed bed on that shallow flat, they will come back eventually, and then you'll have another half hour with bang, 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 crappy, 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 and then you may have another dead period. But uh, it's on and off. It's a lot of fun. It's a great way to spend a nice night, or a terrible stormy night in our case. But uh, what are you going to do? We plan the day. We plan the day. Nature needs to cooperate. <laughs> Losing your bucket feet there. Button. I'm sorry I forgot to pack another chair. <laughs> Tip of the day, bring enough chairs for everyone. <laughs> sorry buddy. Yeah. You're cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you good man. Oh, good man. We darting around the hole already. The feisty one. That's what we want. I just froze my thumb to the metal stand by accident. That's how cold it is. Everything's frosty. I'm alright for now. I'm laser focused on catching a fish. Oh. Oh. Come on. No! Do it again. Get my middle. Yes, he did. Yep. The one thing I should have bought today. Gloves. I'm not even wearing mine. <laughs> I'm just thinking the way back. Oh god, that wind's picking up. We do have to go soon, guys. Mm -hmm. The snow's coming down bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
See, they're hitting. They're catching a couple, too. It's a slow night, but they are hitting. If you're willing to put the time in, you'll get them. Even if it's not many, you'll still get a few. But you got to work at it some nights. Tonight's one of those nights, eh, buddy? Always, man. Let me try one more fresh minnow before we start packing up, man. like everyone else on the lake is apparently doing. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think we're going to be one of the last ones to leave. Yeah, general rule of thumb, if everyone starts bailing off the lake, there's probably a reason. Especially if most of them are locals. Like the storm. Yeah. Yeah, but they also didn't drive three hours to get here like we did. This is true, but they probably know something we don't. Yeah, but I... Drove three hours to get here, so I'm gonna put some time in. Mm -hmm. I can't feel my finger anymore, though. I really can't. It's getting bad. Everyone's starting to pack in, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even the perma huts and the guys with sleds and ATVs—they're all taking off. And we're the last people out here. I'm pushing for one more before we go. I don't know if I'm gonna get it though. It is looking pretty nasty out there. We're gonna have to leave soon. Oh. Hang on. There we go. That's a little nicer one. Mm. Not too bad. I pushed for one extra fish and I got it. Unfortunately, we have to pack it in. This storm is getting brutal. Everybody's bailing off the lake. So, uh, Remember the tips we gave you? Shallow weed beds in the winter, four or five feet of water, nice minnow about halfway up the water column. You can catch something like this too. What do you think? Good day, buddy? It's always a good day, man. Let's go All get right. some tacos. We're going to head into town and get some tacos before we get stuck on the lake. We'll catch in with you guys later. Thanks for watching. Like, is this lane or shoulder I'm on? I don't know. I'm looking through a viewfinder. I have no idea. This is bad, man. Oh, maybe we should have bailed off the lake a little earlier. <laughs> this is going to be a rough drive home.